Coming up on HTV News, Spring Fest 2019 was a success. One of our news teams goes out to ask an important question, do you feel safe? Also, stay tuned to learn more about the Momo Challenge and why it's a hoax. All of this and more on HTV News. Hello, today is March 20th, 2019. I'm Leela Castro. And I'm Jake Fisher. Welcome to HTV News. This week is Spirit Week with Dress Up Days. The cost is $1 per day to participate. All proceeds raised will go to the Chasing Dreams organization. Today is Jersey Day. Thursday is Superhero Day. And Friday will be Breaky Day. Students will also have a table at lunches with fund fundraiser bracelets and suckers plus disability awareness activities. Last Friday at high school, School of City Hobart hosted its annual Spring Fest. Here's a video highlighting the festivities. Every year at Hobart High School, we come together and host a Spring Fest. Spring Fest is a place where peers, family, and friends can come together and have fun. At Spring Fest, we have bounce houses, carnival games, magic shows, silent auctions, face painting, and many more fun games that you can enjoy. Hi, my name is Dietrich, and we're here at Spring Fest today. We're going to be interviewing about these, the new club, the HKC club, the chess club, and several other clubs. We're also going to be talking to a couple other people to see how they're enjoying it. Hi, I'm Dietrich Park, and we're here with Aaron Bell. Today he got pied in the face today. So what type of experience was that? Uh, it was definitely something. I can tell you the pie's delicious, though. So, I mean... Has it tough sentence now? Yeah, it's... I mean... It's not fun being pied in the face, but at the same time, it's fun because the whole thing and what this is happening, like representing, like for Hobart. But there's also like the cons, like you said, the ups and downs of the whole pie just being in your face. It's not fun. Yeah. So um, you did this voluntarily, yeah? Oh yeah, yeah. So what made you uh, volunteer to get pied in the face? The sheer fact that it's my friends and I'm wasting their money. Oh, that's that's, that's great. Well, it was nice talking to you. It was nice talking to you, Dietrich. <laughs> Hi, I'm with William Hall. And what is this behind us right here? Well, see, this is the Hobart Cart Club. We're a brand new club here at Hobart High School, and we just got together and we thought, hey, we don't have any, we don't have this anywhere. The only place that has this close is Lowell and we figured you know what Lowell doesn't deserve all the credit we decided maybe we should just go down go to nationals and win the whole thing we figured we got two good drivers Chad and Megan we got them together we got the whole entire engineering crew together and it's just collaborative we're just getting it all together and we're just trying to knock it out all right that is really cool thank you for answering my question What does Spring Fest mean to you, and why are you here today? I think it's a good uh, program to raise money. I think the kids have a great time. It's good for families to bring their children to just play and have fun, have the high school kids. They're able to uh, take leadership positions and, and show how the games work. I think it's just all around good time. What is the JROCC doing for Spring Fest? What aren't we doing for Spring Fest? We put up all the signs, we set up all the tables, the bouncy houses, the games. We set up everything in the gym and everything, well, most everything in the field house. Well, we thank you very much for your hard work. We thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> um, thank you for answering you. our questions. Thank you. Have a great evening. You too. and we're here with Dr. Buffington. So what is your part uh, in this whole Hobart High School? Well, I'm the superintendent of schools. And as you know, we have 4,000 brickies in the school city of Hobart. And um, today is just a great day at Spring Fest where we do this huge district-wide initiative. And all of the fundraising goes towards early education. 
So what we do with the, the proceeds is that we do a parent education uh, program where from birth to kindergarten, we try to help you be the best parent you can be before your kids come to kindergarten. What's really cool about Spring Fest is that there are a bunch of high school students that are volunteers that we can't do this without our high school students. So they give back and it makes me really proud. And I would just say there are so many volunteers. The mayor's here, Monty White, our SRO is here with Susan Enslin from the HPD. We have all kinds of just wonderful people making this work. Our clubs, our athletics, they're all volunteering. My office has tremendous administrative assistants that just help with the organizational part of it. So it's really a fun time. It's great to see families have fun. But the most important part of it is that we all come together and do a volunteer service for our community and people have fun. So it's a good time. Attention juniors and seniors interested in attending prom. Prom ticket sales will begin on Monday after, after break and end on April 12th. This year's prom theme is around the world. Let the adventure begin. Tickets are $40 per person without a t-shirt or $50 with a t-shirt. Tickets can be purchased during all lunches. Prom is open to all HHS juniors and seniors and HHS sophomores can attend prom if they, if they go with a, se a senior or a junior. Students who wish to attend prom must have all the proper forms on file and, and be in good behavioral standing. If you plan to bring a guest from another school, they must, meet, they must meet guest requirements and you must obtain a guest form from the office and follow the proper procedures. Please see Ms. Krieg or Ms. Slow with questions. Now over to Jake for our new movie review segment. Hello, Holbert High School. I'm Jake Long. Welcome to our newest segment where I will be reviewing movies. My, our first review will be Captain Marvel, which released this year. Talks of superhero fatigue are becoming more abundant, and people are starting to criticize this universe for strictly adhering to a formula to a fault, particularly for origin stories. Nowhere is that more apparent evident than in this film. This movie, this movie really feels like someone strictly following a recipe without bothering to add any flourishes or flavors of their own. Captain Marvel tells the story of Carol Denvers, played by Brie Larson, a pilot who gets involved in an accident with a plane, is given powers by an alien race, and ends up having to come back to Earth to fend off an invasion after realizing her alien allies aren't, aren't going to be of help. And, and yes, that's pretty much the basic plot of Green Lantern. If this movie had come out exactly like it is eight or nine years ago, I'd still consider it quite good. But coming after all the other movies in the MCU and having absolutely nothing new to offer, this is a problem. Granted, not every movie can be filled with original ideas, but here, there's no effort to give this movie something to call its own, to tell it apart from the other movies in the genre. The MCU's tendency to ruin drama for the sake of a joke is still in full force here worsened by the fact that the humor feels forced most of the time. The worst instant instance of this will probably end up angering longtime fans as it takes a beloved character and ruins them just to tell a bad joke. Of March 17th of 2019 is 266 million. Overall, Captain Marvel is a basic Marvel film at its core. If you're a fan of Marvel movies, you may like this. If you're not a fan of Marvel movies, you may like this. While being a basic Marvel film, it may garner a following. Only time will tell, I guess. I would give Captain Marvel a 6 out of 10. There will be a meeting for junior class members after school tomorrow. Thursday, March is 21st in Miss Slough's room. They, they will be discussing prom ticket sales procedures, so attendance is very important. The senior class trip to the Six Flags is March 18th. Forms are available from Ms. Roach, Ms. N Nelson's, or in the main office. Your form is deposit or due back this Friday, so, so don't forget. Now over to Aaron Anthony, Aaron Anthony for ADJS Sports Highlights. Congrats, thanks. Thank you, Jake. Congrats to the boys basketball players on receiving these awards. MVP was Caleb Banjoff, and most improved was Anthony, Anthony Williams. 
The Chad Gross Hustle Award was given to Riley Johnson, and the Bob Hunt Mental Attitude Award was awarded to Kendall McCarthy. The team's top rebounder was David Bohr, and the team's assist leader was Caleb Banjoff. The Dynamites will be having a choir concert tonight, 7 p.m. at the Holbert High School. Let's also congratulate the wrestling team members for their awards. MVP was given to Bobby Babcock, and most improved was given to Cameron Smith. Mental Attitude Award was given to Christian Badia, and the Pride Hustle Desire Award was given to Tyler Turley. There was a unified basketball game last Thursday. Congratulations to all to on the win. Now back to Leela. Thanks, Aaron and Anthony. Help the Environmental Club get a bench for the outdoor classroom. Save plastic caps, pop and water bottles, and bring them to your power hour. The power hour with the most caps collected by May 15th will win a prize. They need to have a total of 200 pounds, so start collecting now. Up next, our news team investigates how, how safe do you feel. Now over to Mariah to answer this very important question. Well, I think we're on, on track for being more aggressive, like responding to things more aggressively than, than passively. You know, instead of just going and hiding in a corner, we're going to try to do something and channel, you know, go after these people if, if something should happen. Try to shut them down. You're welcome. Do you guys feel safe in Holbrook? Yes, I do. Well, I can tell you it's better than the South Side of Chicago than Daly, so. But I'd say the administrators actually have been in front of the bullies and telling them to stop. So do you feel safe walking around home by yourself? Well, sometimes it depends. Well, it depends on what, like, mood I'm feeling, because sometimes I could be like, oh, boy, social anxiety time, or I'd be like, oh, okay, whatever, it's, 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 really just depends. Do you feel safe in Homer High School? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it really depends, but honestly, like, it's not that bad here. It, it could be worse. I feel like we, we can improve on safety for the school would maybe be like um, more kindness in the hallway, being nice. What is the most effective strategy for dealing with crime? Okay. Uh, the most effective strategies for dealing with crime are education and knowledge. The more you <laughs> teach people about what to avoid and what to look for, it becomes beneficial to them and how to avoid things such as getting their car stolen and having their property damaged. How many different kinds of crimes are there? There are many different types of crimes. Uh, too many to kind of list, but what's more important is that there are four basic categories of crimes, and the two that concern most people are personal crimes and property crimes. In your honest opinion, do you think crime is under control? I do think crime is under control. There have been multiple strategies introduced by the Hobart Police Chief and the Mayor uh, that have proven to be effective over the last two years. Are we doing anything to improve school safety? Well, yes, we are doing many things to improve school safety. One of them is that we're changing our active shooter protocols and our lockdowns so that to a more research-based option one that will improve everybody's odds of survival. And I think you guys will appreciate it when you see it and go through it next year. Thanks for time. Th thank you, Mariah, for that extremely informative piece. Now over to Jake on what you need to know about the Momo Challenge. school news and today I'm going to be reporting on the Momo challenge. Even though one thing is for certain in all of this, Momo is not real. The Momo challenge is not real itself and at this point there is little proof that any of these stories suggesting Momo encouraged kids to harm themselves or worse were ever supported by any evidence. The image of Momo is actually based on a sculpture by Japanese artist Kisuke Iso who initially exhibited the statue in 2016 at a Tokyo art show. 
And fortunately for parents and the rest of humanity at large, I guess, ISO has finally weighed in on the panic his artwork has inadvertently inspired, revealing in a video interview that the sculpture was destroyed after it was subject to degradation. ISO revealed that the sculpture, which is inspired by Japanese folk figure the Abume, or Bird Woman, it didn't get much attention when he first exhibited it at Tokyo's Vanilla Gallery, so he was shocked when he started seeing reports linking his artwork to a WhatsApp challenge that encouraged children to harm themselves. What are your thoughts on the Momo Challenge? I don't know much about the Momo Challenge. All I know is that it's yeah, an internet hoax. Thank you. So what are your basic thoughts on the Momo Challenge? Uh, Momo isn't real, we know that one. I think it's just uh, really stupid, just an urban legend, just like ever. So, Mr. Brookmeyer, what are your thoughts on the Momo challenge? Well, I'm confused. Is the Momo challenge that you do what Momo says and you turn on your stove at night, or that you call that random number for a lady to scare you? It can be both. I mean, it's just kind of like the whole thing as a, as a whole. Well, I wouldn't call random numbers because they could steal your identity and your phone information, and I also wouldn't turn my stove on at night. Then again, some people turn their stove on to keep warm. That's very true. That's very true. These are dangerous. Thank you for your time, Mr. Burke. Make sure to like and subscribe to the Howard High School Radio and TV channel. And remember, remember, only, only the best, best for HHS, HHS and have a fantastic, fantastic week, week everyone. everyone.